In this short and to the point video, I'm going to show you exactly how I created this webinar that made me over a million dollars. Yes, this exact webinar video that you're seeing took us around about two days to film literally from my room with my buddy Pratham Sharma without any kind of high level professional work or without any kind of professional videography, right? Again, done basic editing by me, which made us over a million dollars. Now, this video that you see, it's basically called as a webinar video sales letter. Now we use this video as a primary marketing channel that people come across they look at this ad they look at this video they go through it and they get nurtured to understand a little bit more about our business and as a result of this when people get on a call with us they are already aware and they are knowledgeable about who exactly we are and that makes our sales process super easy now if you're not already doing that for your own business then Hopefully this video will change your perception regarding this because as I said, did I mention this video made us over a million dollars and took us two days to film? So if you can also spend just two days, craft a video like such and make over a million dollars, would it be worth it? Absolutely yes. That's why I want you to continue watching this video. Now, please note that whatever footage that I'm about to play and whatever breakdown that I'm about to do, we usually charge a lot of money for this. And this is part of our, one of our premium mastermind events that we hosted not too long ago. And I'm sharing that video for absolutely no cost. So enjoy this video. And if you like videos like such, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now, without waiting anymore, let's just get straight to the breakdown. All right, cool. So we're going to break down how exactly we made probably one of our most viral videos so um the first thing that before i even start breaking down the video is this what's happening is very very important because it increases the um click to play rate right so when somebody lands on the page having this like video kind of background uh, in a gif format is very very awesome as you can see i've shown you two examples where the same gif is kind of like repeating in motion which makes the person want to click and know more what exactly does the video consist of. Okay. So that being said, the first thing when you start a video, in my opinion, hmm? uh, I think they have image thumbnail there in Vistia where like just a static image is present. I would recommend have like a looped video, which is, you know, yeah, you can do that in Vistia. It's very simple to do and have like a loop uh, being played, right? Now that being said, cool, loud clear. When you start the video, whether it's like ad or um, a VSL, the first thing that you should start with is a hook. This is probably going to determine if anybody is going to stay and watch your video or not. Because the first 30 seconds or one minute is like, uh, the breaking point and I'll tell you the difference, right? So I have two videos, right? Um, this produces us a lot of like profits. This produces us like, this is our main revenue generation. This didn't work as well as this one and I'll show you the reason why in a second, okay? I'll play the hooks of both the videos and you guys try to decode and tell me why this video outperformed the previous one. Cool? So I'm gonna just play it quickly. Hey everybody, welcome to this brand new webinar training where you'll be learning exactly how to start and grow a successful digital expert and consulting business in India, even if you have absolutely no experience to begin with. So this means basically, welcome to this one video where we are going to do our best to pitch you our amazing program. Uh, okay, so this was the first hook part that was of this video. Now I'm going to play this other video and you see the hook of this. Oh, so. After last year's success of the viral video, I'm really famous now. You know, Monday khul gaye and all. All these entrepreneurs are after my life. Pratham, direct another video, please. So I'm right here. In fact, I got some really good comments as well. We actually got some of the comments printed. Really? Come on, man, read it. Um, are you sure? Yes, of course I'm sure. Come on. Um, so it says, it looks like your hair looks like a crow's nest. <laughs> what? Uh, honestly, sir. That hair color isn't working either. 
मेरे को नहीं करना डायरेक्ट कट ओके तो That was a hook for both the. Love. <laughs> <laughs> wait for it. Uh, we're gonna break it down, otherwise everyone will be confused. So, yeah. everyone, tell me why do you think this hook outperformed the other one? Because you hmm? Okay, direct. Direct hitting like exactly what they want here. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, giving them a price. So what was wrong with the second video? It was more entertaining, but uh, it doesn't play on the clarity. It was drama. Hmm. And if a cold audience is seeing that second video, what will they get in the first thirty seconds or one minute? They won't get anything. They don't know why they're like that. Like. Yeah, they are like, who is this Pratham? Who? What's this happening? They're like, what's going on? Exactly. Right. So that's why the second video is more for retargeting. Yeah. Mm. Right. So, if I ran the first video to cold audience, it'll work great. The second video, beyond like 30 seconds, one minute, I'll be like, ah, drop it, man. What's this? Mm. Right. So, in the first video, the main thing that you all have to do is you have to make sure that your buyer is staying, and not just anybody and everybody, the exact buyer. Like. I said, hey, I'll show you how to start a coaching consulting business specifically, yeah. right? So um, for you all, it could be like Amazon FBA uh, people doing at least this much to this much per month. Check this out, right? So if you are not going to call out your audience and say exactly um, what needs to be delivered, then this won't work. So basically, in less than one minute, make sure that your hook. Is there now? This hook could be very, very different for everyone. The best recommendation for you all, if you want to learn how to create good hooks, is check out Mr. Beast on YouTube and study his YouTube videos. Like within the first 30 seconds, you'll be like, "This is the event. Like this is how if if this person eats this, he's gonna get million dollars or whatever." And like he's showing the money, she's showing the players, he's showing the characters, and It's like in 30 seconds, a person is like, "Oh, I want to watch more." If you've seen like Roy Chetty and Fear Factor and all, like those people do that, like you know, look at their trailers and stuff, like immediately, like this whole thing appears, and like everyone has their attention, and you don't necessarily need to have like the whole thing, but like people have various ways of doing that. If you all remember in the last time event, I showed a video of Max where he's like just trying to catch a ball. Yeah. Right. So in the first 30 seconds, it's like very random. Like, why is a dog trying to catch a ball? And how is this related <coughs> to business? Right? Are you tired of growing a business slow, just like this video? Yeah. But uh, that was more of a pattern interrupt because Facebook has. So yeah, but it's also a hook. Like, are you tired of growing a business, coaching business, and like this speed? <laughs> I know some people copied that too. But uh, point is that you know it needs to be to the point. And the video needs to start with that. Point, it, it calls out to your audience. Right? Calls out the audience and tells them that this is exactly what you're going to get in this video, right? So another one in what works for B two B is like a guarantee hook. So state the problem first, and then tell what exactly you're going to get. Or not. Yeah, it could be like, hey, coaches, consultants, service providers. I'm going to show you how you can get high ticket clients in the next thirty seconds. Right? Or hey, coaches and consultants, if you don't get 30 high-ticket marketing leads in the next 30 days, you don't pay. Or I, I want to listen more. Right? Or here's like a ball appearing, like you know, sw swing. That you're like, okay, uh, are you tired of growing your business slow? Like this video. So immediately you want to be like, hmm, I want to know more. Right? There's like a YouTuber. He made like this breakdown of a video where he said, "I read 300 books in a year, and this is what I learned." And like he would start like immediately, "I learned, I read 300 books in a year, right?" And rather than doing like how what most YouTubers do, so before I get into the video, here are my three sponsors, and you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Here's my affiliate link. Do this, do this. You, you know, like rather than doing that, he's like, "Here's what I'm going to teach you, and let's just get straight to the point." And this kind of stuff, especially the straight to the point, works super with business owners. They don't have time. Yeah, they don't want to view all that stuff, right? And this is my biggest lesson um, when it comes to creating any video. 
Just tell them what exactly they're gonna get in the first 30 seconds. And if you can't do that, then you've already lost them. It's the TikTok world we live in today. Retention span is very less. Make sense? Yes. Mm -hmm. So even doing drama, like how we did in the second video, won't keep their attention if this isn't clear. Yeah, so I think you can also add a paid book to it. Like for example, in the next 15 minutes, I'm gonna show you why your webinars are not converting. Yeah, and then... Take over. Yeah, and the second thing that so this isn't like part of this, I'll just put it in like a hook. Um, what we do is we diffuse their future objection. Okay? No, for us it's something else. If you notice this video very carefully, we did something, we diffuse their objection. Can you repeat the Yeah, Hey everybody, welcome to this brand new webinar training where you'll be learning exactly how to start and grow a successful digital expert and consulting business in India even if you have absolutely no experience to begin with. So this means basically welcome to this one wow. video where we are going to do our best to pitch you our amazing program. Now by the time... So the affliction is that they are a the 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 sales video but now are like hard DK. So basically by diffusing the objection that is about to come next, this only happens if you know enough about your market. Right? This is why I said that the best person to create VSLs are the founders. Right? So um yeah, like diffuse the objection immediately because this was done exactly in 22 seconds. And that is why this video, people just play it forward. Make sense? Yeah. Cool. Let's just, uh, I'm going to play the next part and then you all tell me what we are doing next. Is everyone paying attention? Yeah. Time you complete this entire webinar, you will know exactly how to get high ticket clients for your business, even if you are planning to start one from scratch. So, what did I do? Give them a price. Exactly. Exactly what you will get. Also, you called out even if you're big, like a start. Behold, yeah, and I called out exactly my audience because this is for blue. Yeah. Right. So I called out my audience and it was clear, right? And all this was done in 32 seconds and this is what completes the hook. Ideally, you should aim for a 30 second hook. And if you don't have a hook like this, then I can guarantee you, your video won't succeed. Cool? In fact, it's highly recommended that you shut down all. So, a core objection diffused kar diya ki, uh, you know, my audience believes that, you know, like they all know. Quick rich. Yeah, get rich quick scheme, right? So, what everybody else is doing is, oh, my webinar is no get rich quick scheme, right? It's a money. I'm like, bro, everyone says that. It's Russell Brunson's perfect webinar, right? So let's just do something different like Are Ambani with Amir Banyada webinar dekke. Right? So like we are trying to put the contradiction that a webinar on its own won't make you rich. Right? So we diffused another objection, uh, part of the whole journey. I'll call this like an extended hook only. Right? All the distractions that you have open because this webinar is about to provide you with tremendous value. By the time you actually finish this webinar, till the end, we also have a free bone. So after that, what I'm doing is I'm basically setting, doing housekeeping. Good. What is housekeeping? Like Shut down your distractions. Now, see, a lot of people do this with your webinars already, but you must understand your market, right? Everybody says all this stuff like put your phone on airplane mode because you want to be serious and motivated That's how you'll make money like bro. Everyone's saying that right you could do something different so distractions eliminate right 
and then um, give them like some sort of incentive. Like, why should I watch this thing till the end? What will I get? Right? And then I'm like, hey, if you watch this till the end, I'll give you a free bonus or whatever I've offered. Right? It could be a cheat sheet, it could be a strategy call, it could be anything. So housekeeping is the second thing. What's the bonus you're promising? Let's find out. Bonus that's waiting for you at the end. Netflix. So basically, I don't have any bonus. <laughs> I just said it and it works. <laughs> right? Basically, the bonus is, I was planning to say something, but then apparently I didn't say anything. And <laughs> it works. Imagine people email you. Bonus. Ah, oh, after you said that, one minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but then people forget, but then they are like, you know, and also it kind of created like this curiosity, like, oh, kya hone wala hone? Okay. right? Abhi aayega, abhi aayega. <laughs> Aane wala. Call ka Like you got a free call after yeah. this, it's a bonus, yeah, right? Be like, maybe I missed it. Or maybe that. <laughs> It could be that. <laughs> but the thing that you will notice that I love doing and the reason why my videos work is because after each element or each category, I basically handle their objections. For example, look at this. After I did housekeeping as well. Check out YouTube. Damn, webinar. Shit, webinar. Focus. We are you have the team. So after that, it's basically your Bollywood story. Like, मैं राजेंद्र नगर से आया था, शाहरुख खान बन गया. You know, things like that. So it's this one will be like different for everyone, right? Now the thing is, in my niche, I could have done like, um, which I'll show you in the next video, uh, a motivation speech or whatever. Like, oh, I was this guy, I was broke, and then I had nothing. But now look, you know. But then again, my market is already jaded with that stuff, right? So I was like, let's get to the point. Uh, basically, I just explained to people that this is who we are we help people get high ticket clients our mission is to become india's number one source of talent service providers talent should have borders this is how our core team looks like uability was formed based on my personal experience of running a six-figure agency at age 20. so basic things like that i gave like a quick background about my side about myself and the company but then if you all notice based on the concept that i told you all about yesterday from day number one it's uability not rohan Right, so even my Bollywood story is for you, ability, mm -hmm. and I will keep it that way only. That's a good point. My personal experience of running a six-figure agency at the age of 20, while working with clients like Lindgren, the founder and CEO of. What so social Group. proof is another one. Bollywood story plus social proof. Like, okay, so I put a picture of Tony Robbins, and this guy who's a millionaire, right? And then I ran ads for him and spend millions on that. So that adds to credibility. If you have anything like that, just use it. Um, then a very famous successful fitness consultancy company inside of Melbourne, Australia. Adam Mesh, who is the CEO and founder of AMTG, a very well-known top trading consultancy company in the US. So if you uh, to Google this person, then this is also famous. So to and travel around to places like this. Scotland, we got Prague, we got Indiana, and there are many more. Chal, chal, chal. Ek aur guru aage banaye. So again, I have Bollywood story. Objection. Right. So, I mean, I started. I'm going to hit you. You know, and then I have a guru aage. Right. So it's like that's what. If I was seeing something like that, that would be going on in my mind. Right. Like. Or oh, another show off. With a BMW ID. Ha. Like this, that. So. You know, how can we make fun of that scenario? Yeah. Well, one day I was having a conversation with an Australian client of mine who mentioned something like this on a Facebook chat. So he said, nothing's stopping you from going international. I'm not uh, racist. I love you, but most Aussies struggle yeah. to buy. So this is why your Bollywood story needs to be strong and should have like a mission behind it. Right? Like this guy said, oh, nothing against uh, India, you, but like most Indians, like Aussies don't trust. And you know, whatever. So, point is, like, it was a whole story that okay, we are treated as outsourced agents, 
right? So we need to change the perception that we have in the entire world. Now that is like, wow, you know, this is beyond Rohan. This is beyond some guru. This is like a mission for the entire country, right? So when that happens and people relate to you more and then they are like, oh, this is a cause or movement I want to be part of, right? Somebody in India, I know you, so it's different. So he didn't mean to offend me, but I took this kind of personally. And as a result, I quit my agency that was doing around about $14,000 a month to launch UMBT and help others do the same thing. So today, UMBT has done $1 million in sales and I'm 25 right now. But that's not what I'm most proud of. What I'm most proud of is this. So far, we have actually created 13 crore patis, 83 lakh patis, people doing over 1 lakh per month and 800 high ticket consultants in India selling globally. And all this was achieved in less than 24 months. And some of our clients actually include people like Rajul, who's a renowned... So then you again keep on going with social proof because the thing is, you need to decide how much social proof you want to add. Um, for me, like, I can add a lot, so I do it, right? And it works really well for me. I'm gonna just skip past the testimonials because you already know a lot of them. Yeah, basically I kept, uh, one strategy or the best strategy that I have on my website is this. I'll show you later, but it's um, this. Reviews, may if you go and you select wins, this freaking internet works, but like it's the wall, huh? the wall of wins. Yeah. Like, I'm like, okay, some people are like, I want proof. There's like a page full of proof. Like, you know, you keep scrolling down until the end, you don't even reach. Like, there's like just testimonials. And that consists of only 30% of the testimonials that we could upload because that page requires a lot of editing. I'll show you later. But point is that, you know, I was, the reason I want to create this page, like this is the one. And this is 30% of her testimonials, right? So just by seeing this, the person is like, what are you doing, money. Right, so this is very, very important that I would recommend everyone has. And then we do social proof, social proof. We work with other industries, thoda ba or. Now, I get into the fourth one. Now this is important if you are doing B2C. So what I did is I explained or I gave like the 10,000 foot overview. This means like, okay, from a high level, what exactly is a digital expert? Maybe I don't know what is a digital expert, right? Now this was for blue. Probably if I was promoting mastermind, I wouldn't do that, right? Because for some people, they'll be like, what is a digital expert? They don't know. So I give a definition of that. Uh, basic understanding, you can give definition exactly how I want. I like drawing shit figures, uh, sh not stick figures, not shit figures, <laughs> like shit stick figures. So I did that and then as a result, I was able to explain to people that, okay, this is what digital consulting is. If you transform people, you know, you can do that. And this is the future of becoming a digital consultant. You can charge this much per client and um, you can deliver them online and this will change your life, right? The question is there's no limit on how much you can charge as a consultant. However, you can demand anywhere between rupees 35,000 to rupees 25 lakhs a month per client. Now, if you are offering services like, let's say architecture or design or something like that, you can even charge in crores. So what exactly do you do? Well, you help your target market achieve their goals by offering advice or services digitally, just like how I'm offering you my advice digitally right now. How do you do it? I'm sure I require a lot of certifications, experience, and not to forget crores yeah, and investment man. capital from angel rounds. Okay. Okay. Exactly. Objection. This is why this VSL works because by the time you're on the sales call, I've taken care of all the objections. So if you've seen this, what will you say to the rep? It's very strategically thought, right? So, and by the way, how did I get these? I just did all sales calls. Unka recording liya, jitni bhi objections diye, sare list kar liya. Just put them here. Right? Now there are a lot of misconceptions regarding this one. Objection handle kar diya. Misconceptions. First one is people think that it requires a lot of experience and Katam. And that person is like, oh my god, like this is like I, I thought that I will need exceptional communication or certification and all that stuff. Like none of that stuff. So ye kar diya. Uske baad, 
One thing that I also sometimes play around is objection plus social proof. Objection handling, then pair that up with social proof because just objection handling on its own is not powerful. But when you showcase like, oh yeah, there's a 19 year old kid in college who's signing like thousand, two thousand dollars per client. All right, cool, that works. Make sense? Yep. I hope this is making sense to everyone. Then that's that more the comfort of her own home while obviously enjoying her personal time with her family and her children. You can also see Avinash who was able to actually close all his deals in Hindi. Another objection I handled, like oh some people like I don't I can't close deals in Hindi. Be itself. Okay. <coughs> Listen. Point number one, high ticket is greater than low ticket. And so once this is done, then the fifth thing that happens is you start with your secrets or this is basically cl classic Russell Brunson. Secret slash objection handlers slash reasons, whatever you want to call them. Basically, they are the index or the main topic points of your VSL, right? You like, basically, you need to come up with three to five points, which are beliefs of your target market, and you need to break them now in, in these five to three points. Uh, one belief that my target market has, or oh, like, I should do low ticket very simple and that's why the 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 thing about my vsl and the way you see this you know most people have like or oh, 10 three different reasons like why you should select a niche or do this blah 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 to make extra 10000 percent return it's in my case it's simple high ticket greater than low ticket like it can't be simpler than this and always better so here's the problem so now when you are doing these objection handlers Here's the technique for this. You divide them into reasons or secrets, like secret one, secret two, secret three, or whatever. And then within these, then you have, and the first thing I like to talk about is problem, solution, proof. Same thing, problem, solution, Proof. Same thing. Problem, solution, proof. You can repeat it as many times as you want, depending upon, um, you know, like how many objections your niche has, which are required to be broken before they get on a sales call with you. Does that make sense? Three, three is minimum. Five is max. Uske baad bahut jada Make sense? Yeah. Okay, so problem is discussed. Then I'm basically talking more about the problem, lower decade, my more queries, blah, 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 higher stuff. I don't think I need to tell you this. And then in between, spending all your money in hiring and all the operational expenses. And then eventually you will get dissatisfied customers who will ask for refunds because the more customers you sign, their experience keeps on decreasing. So, Mr. Business on how much revenue do you make per month? 10 lakh. And is this the property Minus one lakh per month. So the solution to this problem is so again the reason why I did this is because a lot of times we used to get prospects who used to be very, you know, chora that I make like ten lakhs a month and we are like, what's your profit? And they would say like itna dada. Then uh, you know, if we could do that relatable thing, then since the time we added this, like a lot of times these prospects won't give us this objection. Right, so it's like this is why um, I do agree to a little bit of what Bromel was saying. VSL is very important towards like diffusing a lot of the. It makes the job of your sales team easier. Mm, but it doesn't. Sales guys have to work extra hard now. Otherwise, the sales rep will have to diffuse these objections on the call themselves, right? But if you can diffuse most of these, then all the sales rep needs to do is just take care of the partner objection, finances objection, and uncertainty. Ha, Joey, and that's it, right? So these objection handlers take care of. Most of the stuff. So we then say solving bigger problems helps blah, blah, blah. We talk about a case study of Tata Nano. This is our margin car, ka, 69 lakhs Ferrari. Ka, you know, and then we talk about how many sales Nano made. Short social proof. Short that, oh yeah, this guy signed a client for 7,500 USD. Then he signed a client for 36,000 USD. And um, this guy made five lakhs, you know, things like that. Then we move to secret number two which is competition is for losers. Over here, same thing. 
you know we talked about what the problem is showed the problem the solution some stick figures to elaborate on that and the benefit of that and then in the words of Bruce Lee, I failed not the man who practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I failed the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times, allowing them to become a true expert. But Rohan, what about so many of these clients that I won't be able to then get and the missed opportunities? Okay. Again, objection handling. Because my prospects always say, but Rohan, I don't want to select a niche. What about the other clients that I'm losing out on? So I handle that as well. We can take into account the example of Amazon. Before they became the billion dollar company or trillion dollar company that they are today, they started off just by selling books. They became a specialist in the world of books and establishing themselves as a multi eight nine figure company. So once I've done that, social proof. And that was able to be done. Now at 28 minutes, you saw the button appeared. Why? Because by this time, most of my prospects are sold. They're like, okay, cool. Funny, hai, badia, hai, log hai, proof, hai, apply. Kar hai. Hai? This happens. Now this is good enough. Now I can sell them. Okay, but some people, of course, would like to watch more, so they can. Thousand dollars a month, and then finally he was able to get specialists. Social proof, social proof. The problem isn't your niche; it's really it's the most profitable niche. Right, Harvick signed a deal for Phil, in my industry, what there is this belief that marketers are like, give me this hundred list of niches to pick, and if I can pick this this from this list, right, then I'll become um, uh, rich, right? Five hundred pounds, and Harvick signed a deal for eight hundred pounds together as a company. But Rohan Paji, which is the most profitable niche? Actually, help a brother out. Give me a list of top 100 niches. Come on, Sandra. The problem isn't your niche. It's really your offer. So I'm like breaking their belief again, and I'm like, hey man, the problem isn't your niche. It's your offer, which sucks because of which you're not growing. And then they understand that. And then I say features don't sell. When the sale doesn't happen. And then this is one of the parts which went viral. They end up blaming their niche or the market. By focusing on features, consultants often position their offers like vegetable prices. Mandi gul gai hai, Mandi gul gai hai. Madam, digital marketing, IT service, graphic design, SEO either, naya hai, maan freelancer, subo subo madam, ek dam, badiya, sasta dam, pacha, madam, 30,000 rupay done karte hai, man, 30,000, final rate madam, ma please, 15,000, please, please ma'am, please. And as you can see, I want to say, Basically, you know, it diffused the objection again. <laughs> so this refused another objection like, okay, you know, my offer is being treated like a commodity. You know, it needs to be transformation based. Features don't sell. Social proof again, then move on to the next point, which is client generation. Talk about the problem. And then with problem, we do kind of like... <laughs> this was one of my favorites. Yeah, different yeah. kind of mistakes that consultants actually make. Number one, tech overload. So I have this funnel inside of a bigger funnel, which has an upsell inside another funnel. All of this is inside a... What <laughs> about? <laughs> Number two, so <laughs> We got even more brutal with the next video. We thought we'd dumb down. So I paid to Justile, India Mart, Sulekha, Fiverr, Upwork, True Lancer, Guru. And sir, how many quality clients do you get per month? Zero. <laughs> so, <laughs> basically like that. Three, focusing on likes slash followers rather than focusing on what's important. So let me take a selfie for my 100k followers who pay me nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and number four, traditional strategies. Hello? Anji, sir, insurance, insur insurance. Sir, my baat suni, ek minute ki insur. <laughs> so, what's the solution? So, like that way, I diffuse all of the four objections in one go. And immediately, like, they were like, sold. <coughs> then I tell them, okay, there's a better way, this is a funnel, just do this. And I'm breaking this down with not my funnel, but like I'm showing them a funnel of my client, which is working very well. Plus, all the way their end to end results. And then, of course, Ramit! Whoa! whoa. <laughs> so, <Initial wins. laughs> uh, back in the days when Ramit was part of Blue. And then we talk about types of delivery models, the again problem, talking about retention. You actually don't get the same amount of attention that you would get when you had less customers. And as a result, you have also higher fixed costs because now you'll have to have employees, offices, and other fixed vari and variable costs to take care of this beast that you have created. Hello? 
Mistake number two is launching a course very, very soon. So a lot of people try to actually begin from top of the mountain and spending money on expensive softwares and creating an online course just to make quick money without prior done for you experience or testimonial. Tyre Lopez. All right. Uh. Their students don't get results and nobody attends their webinars or even buys from them. Buy Varega India ka Tyre Lopez. All right. Time to host a webinar. <laughs> so what's the solution? Well, the solution. So basic. Happy. Okay. Subsidy. Yes. Now. Oh, I think पहली बार देख रहे हैं ना इसलिए. तो. नहीं. So is that going to be Jen? DDS. I think so. I already Jen. DDS. DDS like ऐसे कर रहा है बारा Jen. मेरा लेडी वाला बेटे. मेरा आगे टाइम. So basically. हैंडल्स राइट and then finally it's like recap of what all we covered on the presentation seventh is option 1 option 2 i was the entire video before i got a message call mm i like skip through i'm only after the ticket this is the now that prasan cost ho gaya tha it's my right as well get out the thing i wonder when it's going to be joined the market see this is how it works So the next step is you recap all these five secrets or three secrets that you covered. Then you give them option A, या तो अपनी ज़िंदगी ऐसे चला लो या तो इसके साथ get a solution. And then simply you just give them a CDA that hey come book a call with us. That's it. And as a result of this, by the time they reach the CDA, if they have seen your entire VSL till here, oh bro, like sales call should be like a piece of cake for you. उसकेट डू दिस <laughs> he just no, did one no, director is here actor is there no one one thing that i'll be i'll be very honest about might sound cocky but i'm very impressed with us is that even this we are selling the second one that if you want to view would be not joking they all first take crafted shit short crap in less than what two days two, two days, days. Two days of marketing effort resulted in all this. But then why is this? Because I've been preparing ah, it throughout yeah. my life. वो हजार कॉल करने के बाद चला गया पहले तो भाई अभी काम कर लियो देखो. And I am not the only one on the call. Since he's on the call, he knows how to handle these objections. So he also played along. And अब point ये हुआ है that I want to genuinely project my personality as like oh the serious guy and you know all that. And, and his well, role yeah. was that the to be the funny guy, right? So that's why it turned out to be like that. Now, in the other one, please, I'll just yeah. break down some parts because no, just for entertainment. Yes. <laughs> and um, maximize the room. Who who all has seen this video? Tell me, then I'll play it accordingly. Oh, no, nobody, nobody has seen nobody it. <laughs> oh, okay, then you'll love it. Okay, I'm just gonna get to some points. Hey, no, no, just skip it. Just get to the good parts. Oh, Rohan is looking zoned out there. Hey, that's what Rohan is in life. That's what he said. <laughs> <laughs> okay so let's play this i'll play some bits of it and the reason i'm playing this is for you guys to understand what i'm like okay so here's an exercise what you all have to do first video i broke it down this video you all have to break it down and share with me like what did you learn right 
and this way it will be concrete in your head, the concept. Cool? Yes. Let me know when ready and I'll play it. Ready? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. After last year's success of the viral video, I'm really famous now. You know, Mandi Gulli and all. All these entrepreneurs are after my life. Pratham, direct another video, please. So, I'm right here. In fact, I got some really good comments as well. We actually got some of the comments from here. Really? Come on, man, read it. Um, are you sure? Yes. Of course I'm sure. Come on. It says, it looks like your hair looks like a grown neck. Honestly, sir, my hair color isn't working either. Can't make me do that, direct. Cut! Bro, I want you to like start us with some emotional background story, something motivating. Words, dar, yar. Peace, passion, passion, freedom, freedom, life. Hi, my name is Rohan Dhawan and I am the founder and CEO of Uability. We run an education consultancy firm where we help entrepreneurs like yourself get high ticket clients just by using videos like such. We also have Rajul who was earlier doing 7.4 lakh. I am going to skip through the case studies. And That's not a very good picture. Great, but she actually lacked the consistent marketing formula to scale her business. And literally within 30 days of working with us, she ended up doubling her price while doing less work. And here's proof of that. So this is why clients like such actually trust us. <laughs> Classic. That's exactly how I would have done it. Right. Well, not too long ago, we were attracting clients like this. Ah, Ronji, Ronji, that's all right. You just tell me how much the discount is going to get. Because, yeah, buddy, it's very expensive, man, what you're quoting. And I mean, there are so many people who do it for less, right? And this is also free information on YouTube, right? Okay, okay, okay. Rohan! प्रोजेक्ट हो गया? What? प्रोजेक्ट? अरे यार एक काम करो एडिट करना है अभी के अभी अभी आप फटाफट एक काम करो अभी के मुझे चाहिए दूसरा काम एडिट हो जाएगा मेरे सुबह उसे डॉग को वॉक भी करा देना और अरे हाँ सुबह रोहन ने ड्राइव क्लीनिंग पकड़ लेना है बेस ठीक है और हो जाएगा तुम जब बता देना बस पांच Rohan, Rohan, Mr. Dhawan, I tell you about it, I'll let you know what you're doing in the meantime. I'll give you an email proposal and I'll give you an email proposal. Along with seven follow-up emails. I don't know if I don't have to open it, but I'll give you an email. Let's see. So, on follow-up emails, we have to learn it the hard way. And I'm going to tell you about it. So, the point is that what we have done now? We have done it. Yes, basically we repelled the characters we want. So, like what most people do is, Oh, this webinar is for these these people, right? Like oh, like and then they would put some bullet points. It's like so boring, right? Now we acted those people that we wanted to repel. So they were like after watching this, like I'm to discount mangne wala. Let's just cut the video, right? So hope that made sense. Uske baad I'm just like talking about you know the four secrets. This time I decided to do it on a whiteboard, which was a little bit more challenging, but still. So over here. I'm talking about prestige value, why charging more, people will think that your brand value is up. Brand value or whatever you are offering actually goes up as well. So this means people automatically associate expensive things with you know, better quality things. Hi. Good evening, sir. Good evening, man. Uh, what's up with these three different glasses? So this, this is off the shelf wine. Uh, okay. So this, this is medium quality wine. Understood. And this last guy? Ah, uh, this great choice. So this is blab blue blab blue wine from France. Oh. 
मैंने बोला है ना मैं कुछ नहीं चला ना बाली चल रही है तू मार्केटिंग कर ना बीच सड़क पे जाके ना टारगेट बीच मनीष मनीष नहीं भाई मैंने वो इंडस्ट्री देखी अंदर से मैं हाथ जोड़ रहा हूँ नहीं आना आई वैली माई आस ओके ब्रो तो वो वाला है ये ये वाला है ना दिस वाज वेरी कूल आई लव दिस पार्ट तो कपल ऑफ मोर थिंग्स आई जस्ट वांट टू शो मे बी एग्जैक्टली हाउ टू गेट क्लाइंट्स नाउ द प्रॉब्लम इज दैट मोस्ट एंटरप्रेन्योर्स फोकस ऑन डूइंग टू मेनी थिंग्स एंड नॉट अचीविंग परफेक्शन इन आइदर वन ऑफ देम हाय माय नेम इज प्रसन्न शर्मा father to two kids husband to two kids oh motor car bore bore pe gonde kahin pe hai na whatever uh tedx speaker four times subscriber base on youtube 2 million 150k instagram followers daily almost 150 people podcast active listeners and three whatsapp workshops running every single day day on and day out i don't think however i make a lot of money uh i don't know if i think i have a life So if you really want to succeed with marketing you must start treating your time like a pizza the most slices you this make This is where he said about be polarizing more undivided right. attention People don't expect people to call out shit they like cool as a result shit. you won't right. end up making consistent progress For example if you focus on Facebook you would make 12.5% progress if running about qualified lead let's say to book like a piece right So if you charge 5 lakh rupees you just ended up making प्लीज समझो फट जाएगा सर सर सब सब बेच रहा है मैंने मार्केट है ने फ्रीडम फ्रीडम बेचते हैं इधर उधर सो 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 हाउ हाउ डू यू यू एक्चुअली बिकम सो सो या लाइक आई मीन 